Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Waterloo Math and Science Contest. This is a grade 11 chemistry Avogadro exam contest question. And it says, if we have an oxide of nitrogen, which contains 25.9% by mass of nitrogen, what is its empirical formula? Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. Alright, so if we have 25.9% concentration of nitrogen, and this is, contains nitrogen and oxygen, then subtract that from 100, and we would have 74.1% of oxygen. Now what we're going to do is we are going to assume that we have a total amount of 100 grams of this oxide of nitrogen compound. This will make the mass a little easier. Um, and it doesn't matter whether or not you assume 100 grams, 200 grams, because the ratios will all give you the same answer anyways. So let's start with nitrogen. So we're going to find the number of moles of nitrogen. So N for nitrogen. And that's going to equal the mass of nitrogen divided by its molar mass. Now the mass of nitrogen is going to be 25.9% of 100 grams. See how this makes it easy? Because then it's just 25.9 grams. And we divide that by the molar mass. The molar mass you check on your periodic table. And the molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole. And that gives us 1.85 moles. All right, well, now we're going to look at oxygen, the number of moles for oxygen. And that's going to equal the mass of oxygen divided by its molar mass. Since it's 74.1%, 74.1% 1 of 100 grams is simply 74.1 grams. And we're going to divide that by its molar mass, which you can find on your periodic table, and is 16.00 grams per mole. 4.63 moles. So what this says is that our ratio of nitrogen to oxygen in moles is 1.85 and 4.63. But if we want to find the empirical formula, we need these to be nice integers. So let's start by taking the smallest number, which is 1.85, and we'll divide it by itself, 1.85. So that'll give us a ratio of 1, 2, and then take 4.63 and divide it also by 1.85. And that gives us 2.5. All right, so our first number is a nice integer, but the second one is not. But you can see if we simply multiply both sides by 2, we'll get 2 and 5, which are both nice integers, which means... Our empirical formula is two nitrogens and five oxygens. Our answer is E.